Hi guys, it's another tutorial. If you have a low water level and your toilet bowl isn't fixing up, isn't filling up, there's a logical explanation for it. Um, See, not filling up. This it doesn't fill up. There's a logical explanation. If you have a flapper valve, you're gonna want to do the same thing, but it might be slightly different since flapper valves usually have a clip that you need to put in place. Let me take off the tank lid. Be careful when you take off the tank lid, as you don't want to drop it by accident. Then you'll have to get a whole new tank lid. Anyways, you see that hole? You see that hose? The hose isn't connected directly to the hole. You're going to want to do to you see this hose right here? You're want you're going to want to put it in. You you don't want to force it in too hard cuz you don't want to break the hose, but you see how easy that is. Easy. And if you have a flapper valve, that little rubber tube will likely have a clip on it. Your overflow pipe will be to the left, like directly, usually it's directly to the left or right behind the flapper. Um, you're going to want to clip it onto the side, but make sure it's not the wrong side. If it's, like when you clip it, clip it to, so the, to the point where the overflow tube is actually on the inside of the piping because that's where the water is going to go to fill up your bowl. How a fill valve works is the majority of the water goes through the bottom into the tank. But whatever goes, whatever's not going through the bottom, the extra pressure helps it go upwards and into this overflow pipe. If this overflow pipe isn't supplying the bowl with water, it won't fill up after the flush. Let me demonstrate. A difference real quickly. Um, water level is still low, but See, problem solved. Um, if your fill valve still doesn't want to supply the bowl, your best bet is just to replace the fill valve or to rebuild it, whichever of the two. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.